Hey everyone, welcome back and happy Friday. Okay guys, we're back to talk about the Real Housewives of Potomac because there is a lot going on, especially with Eminem getting um, or filing for a protective order from Giselle and Robin, which I just find to be the most ridiculous thing. But then now there's rumors based off of what Candace Siller Bassett has recently said that she could potentially be exiting the Real Housewives of Potomac. I'm going to give my thoughts on all of this, but before I do, you know how this works. If you haven't already, go ahead, smash that like button. If you're not subscribed, just get subscribed. Don't forget to hit that notification bell and let's do the damn thing. Will the real Slim Shady please stand up? Oh, yeah, girl. He stood up all right. According to Reality Blurb, fans of The Real Housewives of Potomac know that Robin Dixon and Giselle Bryant have been hosting the Reasonably Shady podcast since 2021. The show has been quite a success, and they have even been nominated for awards. However, upon trying to file a trademark for the podcast earlier this year, they were met with a roadblock from none other than Marshall Mathers, Eminem, who has been using the term shady since the late 1990s and has the word trademarked. Mm. The Grammy-winning rapper feels it would damage his brand if Robin and Giselle were allowed to trademark the name and use it for products. Now the podcast duo wants Slim Shady to be deposed in court. He and his legal team are seeking a protective order to avoid such measures. According to the Daily Mail, Eminem's legal team feels that it would be premature and procedurally improper for their client to sit for a deposition. Additionally, Robin and Giselle have not served the rapper with a notice of deposition. This is a necessary step before deposing someone. So come on, ladies, get your shit together. However, it seems the most significant reason Eminem doesn't want to sit for a deposition is his lack of knowledge. His legal team said that he has limited knowledge of the subject at issue and any information he could provide in court would be well, duplicitive because he has professionals on his team with superior knowledge of said issues. His legal team went on to say that the podcast hosts have made no attempt to obtain the discovery that they seek via more convenient and less burdensome means. And additionally, they have taken no depositions to date and not made any attempt to assess whether they will be able to obtain the relevant information from said individuals. There's no word yet on if the protective order will be granted to Eminem. However, the general consensus online is that there wouldn't be much of a reason for him to be deposed. As his legal team noted, he has very little knowledge of the process and wouldn't have much to add. And it seems maybe Robin and Giselle want the clout of being able to say they deposed one of the biggest rappers of all time. They also said it should be noted that not having the trademark does not stop them from doing the podcast. However, it does stop them from selling their planned products. Hmm. Okay, this whole thing is just like, it's just one bit. You know what? Well, no, I'm not going to say that. I got to be careful. Shut your mouth, Adam, little punk. I'm going to shut my mouth. We're going into 2024. We're trying to keep it together. We're trying not to rip heads. We're trying to be poised and playful, but more importantly, poised. But this is a freaking joke. I can make a rap about how big of a joke this is. I'm sure you guys would love to hear that, but I'm not doing that right now. Anyways, I'm going to take this over to Candace Diller Bassett because let me say Candace has grown on me. Candace and her husband, Chris, you guys know, like it was two years ago, I think. Candace and Chris and I went back and forth on Twitter when it was Twitter. It was not fun. Um, there were so many things that were said. And then I saw them at BravoCon and I was with Emily D. Baker and I said, now's my chance. I'm just going to walk up and I'm going to say what I want to say. And she was like, no, 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 no. Don't go. And I saw Chris at the bar and I said, no, I'm going to go. Because I felt like that was the right thing to do. Now, did I know if I was going to get punched in the face or not? No, I didn't know. And Chris is a big ass guy. But we had the best chat and I just said, listen, I apologize for the miscommunication. I think that we all said things that were really awful. And is there any way for us to just like move past this? 
because I respect that you guys are in a position of being on TV and that a lot of people have a lot of opinions and that you get it from all angles. And I don't want to contribute to any of the messiness or nastiness, especially when I've seen in my own way, people trying to contribute that to my own relationships. So it's like it put things in perspective and they were receptive. Now, Going back to Candace Diller Bassett, Candace, apparently, according to All About the Real Housewives, is hinting at her Real Housewives of Potomac exit and discusses the fan reaction to the divided season. Okay. So, this is what's being said. Longtime Real Housewives of Potomac star Candace Dillard continues to dip her toe into the world of acting. Okay, but she isn't sure her co-stars know the difference between reality TV and scripted television. Um, I mean, just to be fair, that could be true. That could be a true statement. I'm trying to sit here and think in my head, is that a true statement? But no, no, no. I think that that could be. She said, for sure, there's a lot of acting happening on Potomac this season. It might be nice to let, hmm, that's true too. It might be nice to let one of the girls or one or two of the girls audition for a role as an extra on some of the shows that I've been doing since they want to be actors. Candace is resuming her role as Selena in Hush for the streaming drama second season. She's also starring in the sixth season of the Bravo hit series, Real Housewives of Potomac. But season eight of the show, which is currently airing on Bravo, has been met with mixed feedback from viewers, despite its continued high viewership. And viewers aren't a fan of the divided cast feuding over lackluster antics. It felt exactly how you all are viewing it. I always speak highly of the viewers. I think. The Potomac fandom, Potomac viewership is some of the smartest in the Bravo sphere. And you all don't miss anything. You think pieces are riveting and even the ones that are anti candace It feels like everybody went to school, everybody was in the library, and I appreciate that. It is a weird, it was weird to shoot. It was weird to film. It was weird and awkward to be in a lot of these spaces. But Candace also became Robin's harshest critic on and off social media, yet she doesn't regret anything when it comes to sharing her scathing thoughts on Twitter. I stand by my think piece. When I tweeted that, I was upset, but I was also operating with information that you all don't know yet. I don't know if and when you'll find out everything, but there is more that you all don't know. Also, I will say there's a tweet that's being tacked onto everything that I said that is being attributed to Robin. That's not for her. When I said, this is your best work, it's time to recast, that wasn't for Robin. Now, Candace also doesn't buy a lot of stuff when it comes to... Um, her relationship and doesn't believe fans do either. Did you really think that you're going to fool the audience? Like the cameras do not lie. The camera is like the Oracle. It knows all, it sees all. You can't fool the camera. We're watching a lot of flip floppers. And I think that there is an answer to the divide for sure. It's not elusive. It's not like, it's not invading us, invading us all. The answers are there. You have to have a group of women who are collectively willing to do what needs to be done. They do the work to move forward. And for what I'm seeing, we're still backpedaling. We want to rest in the valley of the shadows of lies. And if we're going to make those choices, then I don't know what we're going to do. We're going to keep dancing around each other and pretending like everything is fine. And I don't know. But meanwhile, Candace says she has no plans to leave the Real Housewives of Potomac anytime soon, but she does have an exit strategy for reality TV as her singing and acting careers grow. She said, I've always had a plan. Everything is a gift. All of this, like the music, the acting, Potomac, it's all a bonus for me. None of it is something that I feel entitled to, and I would rather live that way than any other way. But I think for Candace, she's one of the most talented because she is a triple threat. She can sing. She can you know, act. She can dance. She can also be on reality TV. So I can't wait to watch her soar. But also I want to hear what you think about her potentially exiting in the future to grow those careers. And also what you think about the Eminem of it all. Go ahead, smash that like button, show some love.